Hey guys, today I am filming my midway update for the Fun in the Sun Project Pan collab. This is created by Alex from One Booty Addict. A bunch of different amazing ladies are part of this collab. I will have them all linked down below along with the playlist. And I know that there are some people who decided to jump in after the intro, so hopefully they are added to the playlist as well. So before we get into it, I wanted to mention I do realize that my face is too light for my body, which is surprising to me because it looked like a good match. I guess I did get a little bit of color this summer, but anyway, I have a new foundation and I'm wanting to test the formula to make sure that I like it enough to keep it. So forgive me for that. I tried to fix it with powder, but obviously it did not work. But anyway, on to the reason why we're here today. So for my version of this project, I did choose 10 items, five things I wanted to finish, and five things I wanted to make progress on. Out of the five things I wanted to finish, I've already finished four of them, which is fantastic. So that is where we will start. So the first thing is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in the shade Extra Light. I had already, I think, taken out the stopper. Or no, I don't think I had yet taken out the stopper when I put it in here but I was all the way down here and I have done everything I can to scrape around in here. This is my Holy Grail blemish concealer. This does give full coverage, it has a satin finish. To me, this performs just like MAC Pro Longwear, but it has a doe foot applicator, which I much prefer over the MAC little pump. This is, like I said, my Holy Grail blemish concealer. It's an amazing shade for me. It says it's neutral, but it's actually very, yellow toned on me it looks amazing so i absolutely love this i've already repurchased it and i am currently using it as my blemish concealer the next thing i finished is the beauty bakery flower better not bitter powder this was a fine translucent powder i did use this to set my under eyes it did a fine job but it wasn't anything amazing i do have other loose powders that i prefer over this one so i will not repurchase it but if i get any more minis i will use it up so the next item I actually just finished yesterday, and that would be my two little babies of the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in the shade Taupe. So these really started out as tiny little nubbins, but using these every single day, the two, I think it's been like five weeks since the intro. So this has lasted me a month, five weeks, whatever it's been. And I do really like these pencils. I do think it's a nice formula. It is very creamy. I do enjoy these. I happily use up more of these, but I'm not gonna purchase that again in the future. I love my NYX micro brow pencil for a drugstore option and for the high end, even though it costs I think like a dollar or two more, I love the benefit precisely my brow more than the brow is, so I wouldn't repurchase it, but it's still a good product that I enjoy. It's really nice for shaping out my brows and then I like to fill it in with a thicker angled brow pencil. The other thing I used up is the Fresh Sugar Dream Lip Balm. We started out right here and it is completely used up. I did dig into it a little bit as well. This is like a really sweet scent. It is a nice light baby pinky color. I love to get little minis of these. I'll be stoked whenever I get them and it's a four play, but it's just way too expensive and it breaks so easily. For a $20 lip balm, I would rather buy the Laneige Lip Slipping Mask. It will last me forever. And I mean, it's in a pot, so I don't have to worry about it breaking. Yes, this is more portable, but again, it is breakable. I don't know if the full sizes are as breakable as the minis, but it's a good product that I enjoy, but for a high-end lip balm, I would pick the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask over this one, but it was still something I enjoyed and I'm happy to use up. So then the last item I wanna finish completely that I'm, I'm not feeling confident that I'm gonna finish it anymore. So this is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. So when you have the applicator in the packaging I am down to here. I think I was all the way at the top at the intro, but I thought I was about halfway done because when you take the stopper out, the product came all the way down here, but then it added this chunk of product up here. So you can see that there's a lot missing from the middle here, but I think, you know, I just need to let, let this sit for a while for it to level out to truly see where I am, but regardless, I'm feeling a, a little nervous about actually finishing it by the finale, like finishing this in one month, because like it's not like a lip balm necessarily where I'm looking for the hydration. So 
We'll see. I'll try my best. We'll see what I can do. I'm not feeling the most confident. So now for the items I just wanted to make progress on. The first is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This has been my everyday pore filling primer and this is the product where it pumps up from the bottom. So I started out right here and now I'm up to here and I've used it literally every single day. And that is showing me that this is going to take me like a year and a half, two years to use up using it every day, which is insane. You definitely get your money's worth. This is a really awesome pore filling primer. It is really thick and it does a great job. So you don't need very much. You can't really like if you over apply this, it's not going to work for you. It's going to feel heavy and kind of gross, but it's a really awesome product. And this is just for like the fun of it for me to see actually how much progress you can see using it on a daily basis. The next thing I have here is a little mini of the Becca Under Eye Corrector. So mine is looking a little bit different because I did pack this for a trip. I had it, my makeup bag, in the back of the car and we were, you know, we were driving home. The AC was on, but I guess, you know, the AC don't reach the trunk and it melts it a little bit. So it shifted. So it definitely does look different than last time, but it's it's you know not quite fair to say that because it melted but even though it melted the consistency hasn't changed at all i have been using this mostly every day sometimes i forget but like nine times out of ten i do use this as my under eye corrector it's brightening but this really doesn't do a ton for me it's not something i would repurchase but i can use it up so again, you can't see a ton of visible progress on this one, and I've been using it every day. I do apply it with a brush. The next item is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Sin. I am wearing this today. I've been wearing it most days, and I just wanted to see some visible progress. I just wanted there to be a dip, and there definitely is. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this was a, like a brand new highlighter when I put it in this project. And I definitely have a dip. So I'm excited to see how much greater it will be in the finale. I think this is something I decided I want to hit pan on next year since I'm already making such good progress. But, like, it's right here. I actually do have a nice size dip, which is awesome. And I love this highlight. It's such a great formula, and this color is so, so gorgeous. So I'm really happy I put it in this project. And fell in love with it even more. The next item is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Pencil Liner in the shade Striking Copper. I'm wearing this on my lower lash line today. I've been wearing this actually several days throughout each week, which is awesome. Whenever I'm really wearing a warm tone look, which is most days, I am using this on my lower lash line. I love this formula. I'm so sad the shade was discontinued. It's making me want to stock up and have one backup, even though, like I said, take me forever to get through it. So my goal was to make it to the words, which was a very, very lofty goal. I, I definitely don't think that's going to happen, but I really can even tell here how much I've used up. So I actually decided to measure it on the lid because that's just how I like to measure stuff. And I have the beginning of the writing at the end of the lid. So that's how I decided to measure this one. So that shows I need to use up that much to hit the writing girl that ain't happening but I actually do have some great visible progress and I have not been sharpening this that much I really don't need to it is creamy but again because I'm not trying to use it for like a precise line on my upper lash line I sharpen this like like once every week and a half so like not even that often so I'm not wasting product by sharpening it too much I'm just using it like normal so the first line is from the intro and the second line is from this update here I'm very happy with this progress. I know I'm not going to get anywhere near that writing, but I just wanted to be using this very consistently throughout the weeks, and I have been, and I've fallen in love with this as well. The very last item we have here was my one body product, the one real summary product in this project. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This is just a little mini size. I haven't used this once, and I doubt that I'm going to. I mean, I try my best not to go outside because I hate it outside. It's just too hot for me and I will get a sunburn. And I also just don't use lotion. I don't have dry skin on my body at all. So I don't know. I feel like my goal should be like use it twice. Use it three times because like 
I haven't used it at all. And I knew that was gonna be a challenge for me and I really have not pushed myself on it either. So I do need to actually just push myself to use it a couple times, like that's it. But overall, I do think I'm doing very well. Like I said, I'm nervous about reaching my goal on the lip plumper, but everything else I do feel great about. So I wanted to thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'm excited to watch the videos from everybody else in this collab so I can see the progress they've made so far. I would love to know if you guys are doing any other project pans on your channel. I am currently doing a project 10 pan for the summertime. I will have it linked at the end of the cards in case you want to see more project pans from me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.